Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, it's James Games here. Make sure you do smash that like button and subscribe if you're new around here. What I'm going to be doing today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get custom vehicle models like these, okay? So obviously it's going to take a little while, but there is a short way, okay? Not many people use it now as it is seen as quite outdated. However, it works fine and it's completely fine for what I use it for. And it, to be honest, I couldn't fault it. Okay. So, ELS, that's for later on in the video. So, modding DLC pack, okay. I will link this down in the description for you guys, but this is what it does look like. Um, stand by. There you go, guys. Modding DLC pack. So, this is what it looks like. It's from Albo1125. Okay. So, this offers the automatic package. So, what that means is meter files. But can you see that modding DLC pack here? Okay. So, what you would do is you would drag it here and then you click right click on it and just give it a second because obviously it takes a while open with and then open IV okay that easy okay and that is also gonna install it however just because it's outdated it causes a little bit of a problem in your DLC list however we can sort that out in no time so you'd click install and you want to install it into your mods folder so install and then mods folder here, not that, this one here. Okay, cool. So you'd click mods folder. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that. And it also contains meter, meter, meter templates, whatever you would like to call it. So that just shows you how to template it, that. So what it does muck around with is in update, update.rpf, data, and then obviously if you press D, twice and then you'll see DLC list make sure you're in edit mode if you're not in edit mode just click up there and it will sort that out for you and then you're going to right click on DLC list what is located down the bottom and do edit okay so the modding thing will not look like mine how it is here okay and I'll con I'll include that in the description okay how it should look and then you just change it and make sure the code looks exactly the same as mine but obviously you won't be having all these and that because they're additionals, okay? And if you don't get this, then just do leave comments and I'll get back to you. However, when you download it automatically, you'll probably guess why there's a problem and you'll, you'll just know. And that's when I come in with the copied modern DLC thing for you all. And obviously if we do have any more problems, then you can contact me via Discord. But this way is beautiful because all you need to do is go to Update. And then we don't want to go there. We want to go to update, x64, DLC packs, and then we go to modding. Okay, that easy, guys. x64, and then can you see this something called levels? Click that, GTA 5, vehicles, vehicle.rpf, and these, where the vehicles are. Okay, this easy, guys. Literally, just drag and drop these vehicles in. So, um, stand by. We do have it open. No, we don't. We're going to go to downloads, where we downloaded it, the legacy pack. So this way you don't need to fiddle around with different paths and that on where vehicles need to go. It's just drag and drop it to where you want it. So, you don't include a folder. So obviously you're going to have to... You're going to... No, you're not going to go half screen. You will go half screen, I'm telling you now. Right, that's what we want. So this is, should be a lot easier for you guys to now understand what I mean. So you go into modding. And then you see this will be empty on yours, okay? And then we'll click Ford Explorer. And then you see Police Free. You literally drag and drop it. And then we'll have a look at Police Free. Where is Police Free? Here. And there you go. You've got yourself modded police vehicles. Obviously, your lights won't be on when you're in the game. But that is how easy that is, guys. And I can show you how to install vehicles and weapons and that as well. So, weapons. Are also in here you literally just go drag and drop your files and then boom it's done for example there's one modded weapon for you all to look at and again if you're choosing normal pets you just install them put them straight in here and then it's done okay however now it comes to um we're coming into the old data remember me talking about the meta files this is what's included so with these you need it okay all your vehicles are going to be problem nothing but problems at that point 
so meaning you're going to flip it won't drive properly stuff like that so go to levels gta 5 vehicle mater and then you can just chuck that straight in there okay and then it will be done okay or you can go into update update rpf common data levels gta 5 vehicles and then you can put it in here as well so does i don't think it matters where you put it you just need to put it somewhere okay and again guys like i said i do not take any responsibility within your modding you mod at your own risk okay so that is that just has to be said okay so nobody can kick off about that okay so that's all you needed to do so now we come into the emergency lighting system so this is what actually turns the lights on and what allows you to switch over your sirens okay guys so this is what it looks like no not that and this all can be found on lspdfr or gta5 mods so whatever you really want to look at at that point so here emergency lighting system 1.05 okay so you want to go download agree and download and then you want the latest version always the latest guys okay and then you download it and then that will bring you up to this okay and you want to go installation files grand theft auto and then boom all you, all you have to do for this guys is literally just a drag and drop straight into your directory and then you're done like that and then boom straight into your files anywhere in here anywhere where, where there's a space you drag and drop it and then your 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 light's going to work okay and then we go back to the legacy pack so let's say we used all the marked vehicles so then we go to marked and then here's the ELS files okay and we go to ELS pack default and there's the vehicles so then we just drag and drop it drag and drop it in replace you shouldn't get replaced as you are fresh installing installing it and that is it that is all you had to do okay now we're to, we're gonna have a little chat about installing add-on vehicles okay so for starters you're gonna need this game config okay this game config allows you to have, have add-on vehicles okay download this file okay and you can also change your density of AI vehicles as well so if you wanted loads of vehicles you can allow that so where you pull it update common data and then you can find it in here stand by so it says download and and you also need to install these okay and again like I said it's all in the files so all you need to do is just click on this file download and install these and it just shows you what you need to install so you copy and paste that into your web browser Google Internet Explorer you all know what that is and then it just gets dragged and dropped straight into here into your GTA 5 directory there's one heap adjuster and then pack file adjuster that's what you need into your GTA 5 directory like before ELS you just drag and drop it straight in there so that's the same for that okay so drag and drop that straight in there game config you pull it into your update data okay so like I said here so can you find game config right down there press G a couple times and it will flag up game config okay however you need to make a backup of this okay because you want your game config saved and just anywhere desktop documents anywhere just pull it somewhere so you've got it in case you need it copy and how you do this is you just literally you go into edit mode and then just drag and drop it straight in and then it will say compressed as you can read there it says compressed and then that will be done okay so that's that done game config is done now we're getting to talk about this is an add-on vehicle pack meaning you will not need to have any slots taken up because of these vehicles so just have a look at that beautiful vehicles beautiful interiors as well so to do this you can we'll, we'll start at mods and then we'll go over to update x64 dlc packs okay that's literally it where you kept your mod in but this is a whole new dlc pack so add on and then make sure you're in edit mode so i'll come out of edit mode come in yes we want to automatically save it so literally copy and paste this straight into there 
obviously it's going to take a little time to copy over it is quite a big file it's a like almost a gigabyte okay so i'll let you know when it's done and what else you have to do okay guys so this is just done so now we see it, it's all in here okay so that's all we needed it's all now transferred over so we're going to go into update update.rpf common data then we're going to find dlc list okay edit okay and what i do i copy my last dlc i've done and i press enter and then i copy and paste it okay then what the dlc name is called so it's called blue ghost pack so whatever the file name is called the folder you then put that there okay and now it's done so now we click save and that's done okay it. and then we can shut that we don't actually need open iv open anymore now we have to go back to him and we need to download download this file and then we need to download data files so what this data files means is the ELS okay so the ELS files are what we need to make the lights and sirens work like I said about earlier on in the video pack default then we're just going to wait for that to download it shouldn't take a second and then what you do you put it straight back into your ELS pack default and then you just boom now you're able to drive all these nice vehicles not taking up any of your precious police vehicles or civilian vehicles they're so really nothing but a positive thing a positive outcome so we will resume this when it's downloaded okay guys so it's just downloaded data files vcf and then here they go all the vehicles so it's quite a lot of vehicles guys boom put that straight in here and now it's going to work for you guys lights and sirens will all be working for you all and i hope you enjoy this video guys make sure you do smash that like button hit the subscribe button and also share the video for more installation techniques and tutorials Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Peace out, guys.